forgetful is a sign of higher intelligence. If you are one of those absent-minded professor who keeps on forgetting routine things that others usually like to remember, do not get upset, you can be rather proud of this. Your brain strongly agrees that you don't have to know everything. The more you forget routine facts, the more your brain works in adding the most relevant information from them, and thus keeps a keener perception of reality. Remembering has always been perceived as the strongest of mental traits. However, researchers from the University of Toronto say that forgetting is as important as remembering. They looked into the whole absent-minded professor thing, the way smart people often forget and found that in order to learn new things, our brains simply have to dump old information. The paper The Persistence and Transience of Memory published in Neuron on Volume 94, Issue 6, focused on several studies that analyzed the neurobiology behind remembering and forgetting. Professor Blake Richards, fellow of the Canadian Institute for Advanced Research is the author of the study. It turns out that remembering and forgetting interact with each other, allowing for intelligent decision-making in dynamic, noisy environments. The real purpose of memory is the optimization of decision-making. The brain achieves this by filtering out irrelevant details and holding on to things that will contribute to intelligent decisions in the real world. Bad memory in this respect is actually a mechanism in the brain which serves to quickly make space for relevant information and not allow the brain to waste energy and space remembering the routine and trivial information. Facts, are not what the brain perceives as facts. The brain focuses on creating a general picture of the events or a simplified version of some information, which could serve as a means to making better decisions later. This means that learning by heart, something which is impossible for the forgetful ones, is not something the brain would do gladly for you. It is important that the brain forgets irrelevant details and instead focuses on the stuff that's going to help make decisions in the real world. When someone is trying to just live their lives and the brain is constantly bringing up multiple conflicting memories, that makes it harder for you to make an informed decision. For anyone who has ever wondered why they can remember all the words of the song Don't Stop Believing but not their nieces or nephews birthdays. What distinguishes an environment where you are going to want to remember stuff versus an environment where you want to forget stuff is this question of how consistent the environment is and how likely things are to come back into your life. The study focused on what's called memory transience, basically and ultimately concluded the ability to discard certain memories is vital to fine-tuning our decision-making processes. However, that the next time you forget an anniversary, your wife or girlfriend will not find the I am too smart to remember excuse acceptable at all. Information that is easily accessible, like facts you can find on Google or phone numbers, is not something your brain is likely to remember. Instead, the brain will free this space up to store information that is truly necessary to remember. We should do a regular cleanup of our memory. You can do this by going to the gym or doing other types of physical exercise regularly. We know that exercise increases the number of neurons in the hippocampus. The increase in neurons in the hippocampus will erase some memories, but don't worry, your brain knows what you need to and what you don't need to remember. Not only will your brain free up space for new and valuable information, but it will also reclassify the already existing one so that it serves a better purpose in your decision making. You don't want to forget everything, and if forgetting a lot more than normal that might be cause for concern. But if you are someone who forgets the occasional detail, that's probably a sign that your memory system is perfectly healthy and doing exactly what it should be doing. So. Being the forgetful genius is not bad after all. Who cares about the lyrics of that song? Don't forget to share. Thank you.